like we had last year. Once you realize it's still over, it's definitely hard. You don't want it to end, but found a really good way to kind of refocus. Got to play the World Championships and it was a big deal when we won. It, it definitely helped motivate me for this season. This season was completely different. Change up the routine, change up the way I took care of myself, working with Krides and Smitty and Ben put the finishing touches and I've never been in this uh, type of condition. Definitely helped me to put myself in the best situation possible for this season. Alternate captain number 93, Mika Zabanachev. Your assistant captain or captain for any team, you, you take that as a huge honor. But I think for this kind of team, this kind of organization, the history this team has, I have to kind of pinch myself a couple times to, to realize it was true and I couldn't be, be happier about it. Since I'm not a very vocal guy, uh, I, I try to lead by example on the ice and, and show that to the young guys. Zibanejad drives to the net, he scores! Mika Zibanejad with a chance to win it, scores! Rangers win! Zabanajad scores! Mika Zabanajad does it again! His 12th goal in the last 11 games. I felt motivated to be the best version of myself I can be. I was really focused on putting myself in a spot where I didn't have any regrets. Being in a rebuild, you have to take the right steps, obviously, and I think we did that this year. You know, new coaching staff, new system. Well, it's been a good communication between the coaches and the, the players, and they've done a great job with that. Being a young team, I think we, we understood what we had to do to be you know, successful and kind of understand how hard it is to win. We talked about how close we were in games, and we really gave ourselves a chance every game. And I, I like the effort that was there every day. They just don't give up, they just don't stop, and that's becoming a fabric of this team. We never quit, and I think it's been a good transition, and I think it'll be even better next year. In November of 1987, the Rangers established the Stephen McDonald Extra Effort Award given annually to the Rangers player who performs above and beyond the call of duty. The meaning that that family has for the city, for the team, and for the fans, and how much they've done. Steven and the rest of the family, I think you understand the weight of that award. The winner of the 2019 Steve McDonald Extra Effort Award is a guy who came out every day, had a smile on his face, and made sure he put it all on the ice. Number 93, Mika Zibanejad. It was almost uh, the real welcoming into to the Rangers family. And it meant a lot and you understand what it really means to be a New York Ranger. I don't think there was any doubt that he was going to win our MVP award and I don't think anybody was surprised he won the Stephen McDonald award. And when it's that obvious, I think it speaks volumes to what type of season he had. He has taken his game to just a whole new plateau. Uh, I think the biggest thing for me this year that I got to be healthy. Uh, I got to play all the 82 games. When you feel good physically, that usually helps mentally as well. For 82 games, this guy showed up and really gave it his all. When you add that talent level with his mental toughness and his work ethic, you got a special player, and I'm excited about watching him grow. The goal for us is the playoffs and what we were able to accomplish this year with this group, it's exciting. And uh, I like the direction we're going. 82 games and, and a lot of playing time really takes toll on the body, so I'll take some time off now and then get right back into it. And uh, I still think I got uh, another couple levels in me.